buddies let's walk and talk talk and walk with me i am still feeling a bit congested but better days are upon me for sure i wanted to get on and rant and ramble a bit about a few topics that I've seen that have kind of trickled from the gender wars community. There's always something going on between the opposing dominant genders of society. Men hating women and women hating men for what always seems to be the exact same reasons. And it always leaves me a little bit confounded at how similar the plight is on both sides, yet they're constantly at odds without even realizing how trivial the issue is. But I feel like we've had a few topics that have kind of made its way to mainstream media and a lot of them are centered around the tropes of building and forming relationships when it comes to different trends that come and go I feel like society is constantly pushing an agenda that society tends to feed into. And it's always very interesting to me what sides people tend to choose or gravitate towards just depending on whether they feel Whether they feel like they're going to be judged or admonished, depending on whichever side they feel they belong to, in a sense. Or if they feel like they have a duty to represent. But in reality, we all represent ourselves. And I think that we need to be more cognizant of who we are versus who society and social conditioning tells us to be. <clears throat> so recent light, um, there's been a few clips that have gone viral in association to like Simone Biles and her husband and what it means to, you know, pursue or find somebody to be in a relationship with and how that might make you look, whether you are the catch or whether you are a simp or a pick me or thirsty or desperate. A lot of these terms have been utilized again to create division in social norms and it's used as a measure to have people conditioned to either fall victim to not wanting to put themselves out there because they don't want to come across as some of these terms that I just listed or they will put themselves out there because 
it empowers them to feel like they are, you know, uh, a more aggressive boss-like individual that can take ownership of themselves and the things that they want in life. And to that, I say, trends come and go, but you last long beyond that. And when these trends come and go, where do you stand? I mean, does your feelings change? Do you stop being you just because a trend came and went? I remember a few years ago, it was all about not being thirsty. That was the main trend that was going around. When I was aware of any of these um, socialization trends was just don't be thirsty. You don't want to come across as desperate or thirsty. And then a couple years after that, it was all about shooting your shot. That's what everybody wanted to project out into the atmosphere is making sure that you shoot your shot, that life's short, that you never know what's gonna happen if you don't just shoot your shot, if you don't just put yourself out there. And then after that, it went right back to don't be a simp, don't be a pick me, and now it's like a cumulation. Uh, uh, now it's like a, um, a cumulation. What's the word? Accumulation. I think that's the word of all three it's like shoot your shot but don't be a pick me don't be a simp so it just seems like society is consistently trying to confuse the masses by ignorantly throwing all these different terms that are meant to throw you off the trail of your own sense of self. This is why I believe meditation is very important. Getting in touch, getting in tune with who you are. And not worrying about what people think. Because if you are putting yourself out there Trust me, the right person who won't see it as any of these terms, they'll just be enamored and glad to connect with somebody. We live in a lonely world where people are constantly seeking to be seen and heard and understood. So it really doesn't matter who thinks you're thirsty, who thinks you're a simp, who thinks you're a pick me. All that matters is finding the right people who appreciate you, who understand you, and who recognize what you offer. The good, the bad, the ugly, but who wanna highlight the good and who want to uplift you and support you and promote you. And in turn, you should want to do the same for them. I didn't get to the whole interview of Simone Biles and uh, her husband, Jonathan Owens, I believe. It was kind of cringy for me personally, but you can tell Simone, she's, absolutely in love with her guy and although it wasn't my cup of tea I hope that he is absolutely in love with her because that's the kind of partnership that you want to have you want to be with somebody who absolutely adores you and sees you and again hears and understands you
And that's not easy. There's a lot of facades that people carry in this world. But I did see that they had posted after their clip went viral and he's been kind of dragged through social media for apparently, you know, the social public's perception is that he's embarrassed her. They posted online clips and photos just kind of showing unity between themselves and how much they are a solid unit and solid team. And that's what's really important is that at the end of the day, having somebody in your corner who through any kind of adversity feels like you are a solid entity in their life. And when you have that, you can face a lot, almost anything. So I just wanted to get online real quick and basically share my opinion on all these other opinions that everybody has about some of these tropes that we get caught up in. None of that matters. Don't worry about being a pick me. Don't worry about being a simp. Don't worry about any of that. Just worry about you, meditate, connect with yourself. And if you feel naturally and organically pulled towards one way, if you are somebody who is, you know, comfortable with putting yourself out there and forging relationships, you should do it. Don't feel <clears throat> influenced by society's standards because that will always change. Move according to what behooves you. If you're somebody who's more shy and a little bit more passive, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with, you know, being more observant and not putting yourself out there. That's perfectly fine too. Again, at the end of the day, it's important to do what resonates. You need to start by loving yourself and understanding who you are when you wake up in the morning versus forcing any type of persona that society will curate when it's convenient. I hope that makes sense. And please like and comment and subscribe to this video. Thank you.